day was good everybody it's your boy king killer back here today with another video thank you guys for dropping by so in today's video we are going to be doing a challenge that a subscriber has been requesting for a couple of days now so shout out to you for requesting it and for this video he wants me to do an 82 and 0 challenge but instead of using a team of all jason tatums like my last 82 and 0 he wants me to use a team of all lebron james and since lebron is considered one of the greatest if not the greatest player of all time I want to see if we can not only go 82-0 in the regular season, but also go 16-0 in the playoffs for a combined record of 98-0. So what's up everybody? I hope everybody is having a great day today as it is Friday. So let me know what you guys are doing for today. Do you guys have plans of going now? Do you guys just want to stay at the crib and chill? Let me know down below in the comments. But getting back into today's video, yeah, we are right here with the team of nothing but LeBron James. Every single player on here is a LeBron replica right here. And I went ahead and I did a video like this, uh, I want to say like a week ago, where I went 82 and 0 with a team full of Jason Tatum. So if you missed it, I'll have it linked at the end of the video. But definitely go check it out as it was a crazy video as we did go 82 and 0. And yeah, shout out to the to the subscriber that keeps requesting this video. I appreciate the love and support you show. And yeah, we about to do this video and we about to do it right. So I did go ahead and I actually did make an adjustment to this LeBron build. I did go ahead and lower his age down. I believe he's like 38. I went ahead and I lowered it down to a 35 just because I'm going to need this. I'm going to need all these LeBrons to stay in the league because I know he tends to retire sometimes after a season and I can't have any LeBron retiring. So I made sure and lowered his age just so he doesn't retire. And taking a look at the rotation, this is what I'm going to run. All these LeBrons that are starting are going to get 27 minutes a night. And then all these LeBrons that are coming off the bench are getting 21 minutes a night. And we are running a 10-man rotation. And then taking a look at system proficiency for this team is anything four and a half. Yes, it is. So we can go ahead and run seven seconds with this. And then taking a look at the shot tendencies. I think I'm going to go ahead and like I did last video, I'm going to give the real LeBron the most uh, the highest shot uh, tendency if I could find them so he's all the way down here so we are gonna give him like a 99 and I believe everybody else could just say like I need 95 so definitely this should be an interesting video trying to go not only 82 and 0 in the regular season but also 16 and 0 in the playoffs I didn't do that with the Jason Tatum video so I'm excited to see if we could try to do this today so we are gonna go ahead and simulate the first three games of the season seeing if we could start off 3 and 0 and yeah, just like that, we are 3-0 as we did win the first game against Golden State by, what is that, uh, 37 points, right? Yeah, 37 points. LeBron, 27. The other LeBron, 22, 17, 16. Okay. Oh, this LeBron almost had a triple-double. He was one rebound away. Moving on to the second game, we blew out the Los Angeles Clippers. LeBron with 24, 7, and 7. Another LeBron with 22. LeBron with 18, 16, 13, 13. This LeBron had 14 rebounds. Okay. And then the third game of the season, we barely won by three points. That was a close one. LeBron led the way with 25. Another one with 23, 9, and 6. Another one with 18, 8, and 6. Okay. So definitely a scary and close game. I really don't want any games being close. I really want to just blow every team out this year. So we are going to go ahead and simulate. And I'm kind of hoping we could get this in season one. So we are going to go ahead and simulate. And I will catch you guys at the end of season number one. All right. So at the end of season number one, Luka winning MVP, averaging a triple double, 34 points, about 11 rebounds and 12 assists with two steals a night. Jaden Ivey winning rookie of the year. Ben Simmons winning six man. Giannis winning defensive player of the year. And then Cade Cunningham winning most improved player. Shout out to Cade if you guys did watch my last video. If you know, you know. And then taking a look at the all NBA teams. Do we get a LeBron on here? We do not get any LeBrons. What about an all defensive team? We do not. So taking a look at what we went, I'm kind of scared to see. I want to say we got it, but at the same time, I don't really think we got it. I feel like we kind of missed it by like two or three games. So we are going to go ahead and check in three, two, one. And oh, we went 78 and four. Ah, I mean, I was kind of close. I said like two, three games. So we went 78 and four. Not bad. Not bad for the first season. I'll take it. And then taking a look at the player stats for the season. Let's see who led the way. Fake LeBron led it with about 12, 6, and 5. The next highest LeBron, the next uh, LeBron is actually the original LeBron because he is number 6. So 15 and a half points, 6 rebounds, and then 5 assists. LeBron, uh, the other LeBron had 15, and then he other, the other one had 15. 
14, 13, 12 and a half, 12, about 12, 11, and that is all the LeBrons that played for us. But yeah, 78 and 4. I mean, not bad. I'll take it. I lucky thought uh, the original LeBron would have averaged a little bit more. Maybe I should play around with some of the shot tendencies, maybe lower some of these players down just a little bit. But yeah, so we are going to go ahead and see what we can do in the playoffs as we are playing the Oklahoma City Thunder in the first round. I mean, they didn't really add anybody. So we are just going to go ahead and simulate the whole playoffs just to see what we do. And we do go 4-0 in the first one, go 4-0 in the second one, and we do go 4-1. We do lose one game to the Memphis Grizzlies as we are now taking on the Atlanta Hawks. Seeing who they got, they didn't really add anybody either. So we are going to go ahead and simulate. Can we sweep them at least? Okay, so we do win the championship. We only lose one game throughout this whole playoff run. So we did go, what is that, 88, uh, 94. We went 94 and 5 for the whole year. Not bad. Not bad. I definitely think we can still break this record. So we are going to go ahead and simulate to the next season. And I will catch you guys at the start of the rotation for season number 2. All right, so for the start of season number two, this is what the rotation is looking like. We got every LeBron that's starting 26 minutes a night, except the original. He will be getting 30 minutes. Then we got off the bench, we got one LeBron getting 24 minutes, two of them getting 22 minutes, one getting 20 minutes, and then the last one is getting 18 minutes. Taking a look at system proficiency, we are going to go ahead and stick with seven seconds as it is four stars. And then taking a look at the shot tendencies, I kind of want to change it up this season. So I'm just pretty much going to give like everybody a random shot tendency. I do want the original LeBron though to have a 99 shot tendency. So everybody else is just going to get a random shot tendency. And yeah, there's a lot of LeBrons on here. So we are going to have to go ahead and make sure all of these guys have a random shot tendency. And taking a look at the original LeBron, you see right there, he is going to be at a 99. And then the rest of these can go ahead and go down just a little bit. So yeah, excited for this season, hoping that we can go 82 and 0. So we are going to go ahead and simulate the first three games of the season to see how this goes. And we do start off 3 and 0, so that's good to see. So we do win the first game, LeBron with 31, another with 27 and 8, and then one with 19, 7 and 6 as we do beat the Blazers. Then we move on to Phoenix for the second game. We do beat them as we actually got outscored by a lot in the fourth quarter, but we do end up winning by 17 points as LeBron had 25, 7, 18 and 7, 17, 6 and 7. And then in the final game, we played against the Kings. 26 points for LeBron, 19, 9, and 4 for the other LeBron, 17, 6, and 6. So I'm hoping we could go undefeated this year. I think we have a pretty good shot. I lowered people's shot tendency, so hopefully that helps. So we are going to go and simulate, and I will catch you guys at the end of season number two. All right, so at the end of season number two, John Morant winning MVP, 33 points a night, six rebounds, and about 10 and a half assists. Victor winning Rookie of the Year, Kevin Porter Jr. winning Sixth Man of the Year, Evan Mobley winning Defense Player of the Year, and then Bones Highland Most Improved. Taking a look at the All-NBA teams, do we get a LeBron on here? We do not. What about an All-Defensive team? We do not get anybody. So taking a look at what we went, I want to say... I want to say we missed it by like one or two games this time. I don't know. So we are going to go ahead and see three, two, one. And we go 76 and six. So we actually went worse than what we did last year. We went 78 and four last year. We go 76 and six this year. I low-key really thought maybe moving the shot tendencies would have helped, but I guess it didn't because it didn't make us worse. And then taking a look at the player stats, I'm pretty sure the original LeBron led us. Yeah, 17 points a night, six rebounds, almost six assists a night with the steal. 14, six, and five. 13 points, 13 points, 13 points, 13 points, 12 and a half, 12, 11 and a half, 10 and a half. Okay, so I mean, everybody on here did average over 10 points, so that is pretty impressive, but I low-key thought this LeBron would have maybe led the way the original LeBron would have stepped it up and maybe averaged like 25 or something like that. So we are going to go ahead and simulate the playoffs, and I'm hoping we could go at least 16-0 in here. So we are going to go ahead and simulate the first round against Portland. We do sweep them, sweep New Orleans, and then we do sweep the Houston Rockets. And the original LeBron is your Western Conference uh, Finals MVP. We are facing the Atlanta Hawks, and I believe we did face them. Actually, no, we faced... Did we face them? I believe, yeah, we did face them last year in the finals. So we are going to go ahead and simulate. Can we at least go 16-0 in the playoffs? No, we did. I think we lost the first game as the original LeBron wins finals MVP. I think we did. Yeah, we lost the first game by six. So once again, we do go 16 and one in the playoffs. Uh, I mean, we probably should have gone undefeated here. I mean, I think a 16 and 0 stretch is um, more likely for us to go 16 and 0 in a 16 game stretch. But yeah, so we are going to go ahead and do one more season 
of this challenge and i'm hoping we could get it so i am gonna go ahead and simulate and i will catch you guys at the start of season number three with the new rotation all right so for the start of season number three this is what the rotation is looking like we got the original lebron james with 28 minutes a night i am gonna play my point guard and then the rest of the lebrons getting 26 minutes a night and then we got a lebron off the bench getting 22 minutes another one getting 22 minutes another one getting 22 minutes and then the last two getting 21 minutes a night taking a look at system proficiency for this team is anything four and a half stars no nothing is so we are gonna actually and i want to change it up i am gonna go ahead and do balance and then taking a look at these shot tendencies you know what? i'm just gonna go ahead and say why not i am gonna put everybody up to like a 90 or a plus 90 so maybe we could go ahead and try to win this and i still want the original lebron though to have the highest shot tendency out of all these players so he is gonna be at a 99 but i don't know why he's all the way at the bottom if he's the original but yeah, so we are going to go ahead and put everybody up. LeBron, there he is, the original one. He could stay at a 99, and then the rest of the LeBrons can get a 90 plus. So we are going to go ahead and simulate the first three seat, the first three games, and we do win against San Antonio. We lose against Utah by three points. Oh, that hurts. That definitely hurts. <sighs> All right, so I mean, hopefully we could just go 81 and uh, 81 and one in the rest of this season, and then try to go 16 and 0 in the playoffs. So we are gonna go ahead and simulate, and I will catch you guys at the end of season number three. All right, so at the end of season number three, John Morant winning back-to-back -back MVPs, Xavier Booker winning Rookie of the Year, Jarvis Walker winning Six Man, Victor winning Defense Player of the Year, and then Scoot Henderson winning Most Improved. Taking a look at the All NBA teams, do we get a LeBron for the final season? We do not. What about an All Defensive Team? We do not. So taking a look, we did end up as the one seed once again, but did we go 82 or well, 81 and one? We did not. We actually did. This is our worst record of the first three years as we did go 66 and 16. Okay, so the first season was our closest season to going 82 and 0. And taking a look at the season stats, did the original LeBron lead the way he did with 16 and a half points, six rebounds, and almost six assists, followed by about 14 points a night, 13 points a night, 13, 12, 12, 11 and a half, 11 and a half, 11, and then 10 and a half. Yeah, so the first season was actually the closest season. I low-key kind of thought maybe LeBron would get us to 82 and 0. So for so so far. Jason Tatum, a team of all Jason Tatum has gone 82 and 0. So it's looking like that's the best team ever assembled. But we are gonna go ahead and see if we could go 16 and 0 in the playoffs. So we do have the Spurs, I believe. Who do we lose to in the first game? Was it the Spurs? I don't think it was the Spurs. But we are gonna go ahead and simulate the first, uh, the first couple rounds. So we do not end up sweeping them as we actually almost lost to them. In the first round, but we do sweep Oklahoma and the Memphis Grizzlies, and we are not taking taking on the Cleveland Cavaliers. So we actually ended up losing to the Cavaliers. Okay, Darius Garland wins Finals MVP. Okay, so not the best final year as we did lose two games in the first round. We did sweep OKC and Memphis, but we did end up losing to the Cavaliers. Wow, I honestly didn't expect that. The first game we ended up winning by six. The second game we lost by four. The third game we got blown out by about 18 points. The next game we lost by one. And then the final game we lost by 13 points. So that's gonna go and that's gonna wrap it up for today's video. If you guys didn't enjoy, make sure to go and drop a like on the video and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And make sure to follow me on Twitter, the link will be down below. But anyways, guys, that's gonna do it for today. Hope you guys enjoyed. And I'll catch y'all next time. Stay safe. Peace.